What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller, and we are ready for an all-new Impact Wrestling. It goes down immediately following BTI here tonight. You ready? You excited? Oh, Pumped? always. Always? Yeah. Always. You're, like, on level 11 all yeah. the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Fired up. I, I want to be on 12 today. You're going to be on 12. All right. Well, we'll, see. We'll, 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 we'll get there, right? Yeah. yeah you yeah. want to yeah. start with the main event yeah. from last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bring it back down. Okay. But the main event was at a 12 Golden last six week. Golden six-shooter. Yes. Golden yeah. six-shooter. All former Did world... Did you Golden? Golden. Golden. Oh, okay. Golden. Uh, uh, no, that's Iceman later. <laughs> <laughs> All of our challengers yeah. were former world champions, but only one of them will go on to face... Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship at No Surrender. Let's find out who exactly that was. Really wants to make Swan pay. And Swan gets to the bottom rope that'll break up the submission attempt there by Moose. Moose willing to take his time here in the later stages of this golden six-shooter elimination match, trying to capture an Impact World title shot at No Surrender. And goes back to the name of Rich Swan. I should do this all damn day. And Moose just continues to just destroy Rich Swan here, especially the knee. So much of Rich Swan's offense requires him to fly all over the ring. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, Swan! Swan got Moose! Moose has been eliminated. And that is the scrappy resilience of Rich Swan that led him to be an Impact World Champion. Can he pull through this and get there one more time? But Tom, we are now down to two. Oh, now look at this. The design. Diener, Angels, and Khan coming out to ringside. They know they can't get physically involved. Time for the last step. Take him out. The last step in Callahan's initiation? Take him out. Take him out. If Callahan takes out Swan, his initiation into the design yes. is complete. A former rival, a former friend. Take him out, Callahan. Could be the ultimate sign of loyalty to Diener and the design. It, it, but it, is this conflict we're seeing on the face of the former death machine? But think about what Callahan's already done. He shaved his head for the design. Oh. He showed his obedience to Diener. And now, is he willing to destroy his once close friend, Rich Swan? Oh! There's the stretch muffler. But wait, uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait. Swan oh, nearly had Callahan. And now Swan trying to get back up to his feet. Oh! Rich, who can barely stand Tom at this point in the matchup, still continuing to fight. Oh, and look at Swan. Big shots to the head of Callahan. He's clubbing forearms. Oh, and a low shot there by Callahan. Power bomb. And now Callahan into the cover. Oh, and Swan able to kick out. But well, look at how Callahan oh. countered. Floating right in to an ankle hook there. Going back to the work that Moose had already done earlier. Rich Swan luckily gets to the ropes quickly. Swan gets to the bottom rope. That'll break things up. And Callahan feeling the effects here the last few moments. But how conflicted is he mentally over this? These are two men who have known each other since they were teenagers, lived together at one point. This turned into a oh, oh. gruesome rivalry four years ago. So much history, but with so much on the line. Right now, they both continue to fight. Oh! Oh, what a kick by Swan! And Callahan is down. The design, if they get involved, they would draw a disqualification, and Callahan will be eliminated. Oh! 450! Cover! Swan is the number one contender! Here is your winner, Rich Swan! Rich Swan outlasts everybody! Swan is gonna get what he's been asking for for months! An Impact World title shot!
shot against Josh Alexander. He outlasted five other former world champions. Pedigrees abound and made his way, punched his ticket to no surrender, but the top. Leader is still in here directing some kind of traffic. Uh, Swan is trying to talk some sense into Callahan. It This isn't the man that, that Swan came up in this business with, spent so much time with Diener, trying to get Callahan to finish the job here. Oh, oh! Diener! Diener striking Swan and Akon and Angels all over Rich Swan! Two of the designs, original most loyal members doing the dirty work now. Steiner directing traffic. And Steiner wants Callahan's obedience. Man, not got the job done in the match, but can he prove his dedication now? Oh, wait a minute. There's Yuya Uemura. Oh, coming to the defense of his tag team partner, Delirious who was a victim of the design not too long ago. Yuya trying to get a piece of the design, and now it's angels all over Yuya. And this one is broken down quickly. Hey, look out! Oh, look out! It's the Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander, and Frankie Kazarian! Looking to even the odds a little bit here. And it's an all-out melee here in the Impact Zone. The design having the image they hope to create here tonight spoiled. Swan, Uemura, Kazarian, and Alexander fighting off the design. Oh, oh, it's Bedlam in the Impact Zone. Oh, and now look at Alexander, the longest reigning Impact World Champion of all time. Oh. Now he had a C4 spike on Diener, who was saved by the design. The design thinking better of it, getting out of dodge. But what have they started here? This absolutely exploded here in the impact zone, but we know this. Come no surrender, it's Swan and Alexander for the Impact World Championship. So congratulations to Rich Swan, the former world champion, now going on to no surrender to challenge Josh Alexander. Do you think he can do it? Oh, I think he can. And I think it's important that we point out that Rich Swan never got a rematch for uh -huh. the world title uh -huh. after he uh -huh. lost it. Now, that was part of the deal, but now he's going to get that opportunity once again. Still to come, more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week. But the action gets started right here on BTI as Jonathan Gresham goes one-on-one -on -one with Aiden Prince. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone, as we get ready for an all-new Impact Wrestling and we get ready for No Surrender live on Impact Plus later this month from Las Vegas. You want to head back to the Impact Zone? Oh, this is why oh, you're yeah. all fired oh, up. Oh, yeah. All right. This, fun fact, Josh. This was my former tag team partner on the Alabama Outlaw days back when I was I was rolling around in there. But we'll we'll, we'll talk about that you're later. A, you're 11 years old. It was Mike Jackson, 73 years old. He challenged Trey Miguel for the X Division Championship. Could he become the oldest X Division champion? I really hope so. Let's see. Remember, title can only change hands be a pinfall or submission in the ring, not be a count out or disqualification. Now the pro wrestling veteran going to work on the left arm there of Trey Miguel. That's a smart move after Miguel hit that post. And Jackson once again goes to the left arm. And look into that home crowd. Oh, God. You know, we know what Mike Jackson likes to do, especially if he's got a, a softened up arm to play with there, Tom. And Trey Miguel in a world of trouble that I don't think he ever expected to be in. 
Oh no, one more step. Could be time for oldest school. Old school meeting new school here at Impact Wrestling with the X Division title on the line. Around the ring in 80 steps goes Mike Jackson with the X Division champion. Not letting him get the full squared circle in there. Trey seen her and felt enough. And now McGill going to work. A bevy of strikes. You gotta imagine Miguel might have felt a little bit embarrassed so far, but he's done with it now. Oh now trying to hit it. Yes, the lightning spiral. Miguel had had enough and he ends it. Miguel retains the exhibition title. Here is your winner and still. We've had two successful X Division title defenses for Miguel between tonight and the countdown. Too hard to kill against Black Tarusa. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, Raywell, look at this. Rolling outside the ring, and we've seen Trey Miguel do this in the past. He's going underneath the ring looking for his spray paint. What the hell? What did he see? Seems a little spooked. Oh! oh, oh. Miguel was looking for his, his, his spray paint, presumably. And he found something far, far more disturbing. Crazy Steve of Decay, the running mate of Black Tarus. Look at the back of the head of Crazy Steve. Is that, is that Trey's logo? It's marked with the symbol of Trey Miguel. Oh, God! Oh, God! His entire body. Their bodies marked with Trey. Crazy Steve. One more for good measure, Tom. <laughs> Crazy Steve tagging himself with Trey Miguel's logo. Trey Miguel cornered here this between two demons. And Trey Miguel running for his life here, hops the barricade here at center stage in Atlanta to get away from Decay. Like he's just seen a ghost. Hey, look, a valiant effort for Mike Jackson. Trey was having some fun making, you know, with the yeah, walker and all that. Ha, ha. Trey runs away from Black Tour Roos right. and Crazy Steve. The, the, their issues are far from over. It's called karma. Karma, yes, indeed. Still to come, more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week, but the action gets started right here on BTI when Jonathan Gresham goes one-on-one -on -one with Aiden Prince. Don't move a muscle. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we get ready for an all new Impact Wrestling right around the corner. But I tell you what, the uh, director of authority, Santino Morella, has certainly put his stamp on Impact Wrestling, and he did so last week with the Knockouts World Tag Team Titles Line. Yeah, that's right. He had that? his. Was that, a, it, that, was a, that was a Cobra. That was a strike. Oh. Ah, yeah. But. <laughs> He had his choosing of a partner for Giselle Shaw, who's kind of been referred to as a black widow around here. So I really liked his choice of partner. And they would go on to challenge the Death Dolls for the Knockout World Tag Team Championships. Let's see how that all went down. Here's the cover for the titles and a kick out off the corkscrew uppercut. It's an extensive team. There's a lot of team members. Yeah, but there's only two people in the match, and Tara's one of them, and Tara wants into the match. The fans here want Tara into the match. Look, she has so much respect for Tara, she doesn't want to see Tara get hurt in oh, this contest in her big me return. A break. This is all ego by Giselle Shaw. Well, she won against oh! the death. No way! No! An absolute torpedo launch there by Jessica. And now Jessica's got to make a tag to tie a Valkyrie. And Shaw 
could have made a tag to Tara and elected not to. She knows she has that victory over the Death Dolls already. She knows she can get this done. That is oh. confidence, if nothing else. That's arrogance is what it is, not tagging in Tara. Oh, now looking for Tara involved. The yeah. official was checking on Jessica in the corner. Great team member. Oh, oh God! Rosemary. What? That's what I'm talking about. He's not even in this matchup. The demon assassin takes out the executive stylist and content creator. This, this is a terrible nickname. It's a terrible nickname. And now, look, look oh, who's in charge. Look who's in control. I was saying this was for you and a Tara, and it's the spider. Oh. Oh. Tara's own move and a kick out by Valkyrie. What disrespect by Shaw to Tara. Oh, now stacking up Valkyrie and a kick out by one half of the champs. Giselle Shaw proven to the world, and now proven to her partner, she can get this done. Oh, and Shaw refusing to tag in Tara. What it's bravery. Wait, hey, wait. What, what are you doing? Obviously, they didn't win the Knockouts World Tag Team titles. Yeah. I don't know if Giselle will ever have a partner that's going to help her become Knockouts World Tag I mean, not at this rate. Not at this rate. Speaking of partners, the major players, they're usually on the same page, that's and true. they would clash with the Bullet Club last week on Impact Wrestling. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, can we see him setting up here? You hear him call for it. Oh, uh, went for the art of finesse. Denied on that one, but now, oh. one more time, turning it around, there's the kick! Oh, what a beautiful kick there by Ace Austin. Now Austin trying to help out Chris Bay. Look at this, what the hell's going on? Austin pins Cardona! Here are your winners, Ace Austin and Chris Bay! Amidst the tangle of bodies, Ace and Bay take out the major players! Tie and that Cardona up in a knot. I don't think he knew which way was up, which way was sideways, down, left, right, or center, pi, square root of this. He was a little discombobulated. Ace and Bay get an important victory in the tag team race as they are focused, no doubt, on the Impact World Tag Team Championship currently held by the Motor City Machine Guns. You have to imagine the guns had their eyes on this one. But well, what is next for the major players? We're none too pleased. 
with what just went down here in the impact zone. I think the focus of the major players. Whoa, that's been a little bit off lately. I didn't even say his name, Tom. And it's, I think it's because of this man. Matt Cardona, I heard that you want a shot at the Digital Media Championship. So I came out here to say, I accept. And Matt, why wouldn't I? Respect to you. You're the original content creator. The original internet champion. But Matt, lately, I think you've been a little bit green with envy because they're not talking about Matt Cardona. They're talking about the hit single, Dancing Moose. And Matt Cardona, you feel left out. And left out is the last thing that Joe Hendry wants you to feel. Left out is the last thing that Atlanta wants you to feel. So Matt Cardona, I have written you a song. Who wants to hear it? Let's take a listen. Chelsea says I'm mad, can you come to bed? No, I'd rather play with my figures instead. She said, can we be romantic and do things we enjoy? No, me and Brian Myers spent our savings on toys. Now I think my girl is gonna walk out the door. I'm only 37, but I look like 54. And Matt Cardona, you could be the man. But there's just one problem you should understand. You're the king of the Indies, and now you're rich. But to me, you will always be Edge's bitch. You and Brian Myers, you act like kids, but to me, you will always be Edge's bitch. You're the king of the Indies, and now you're rich, but to me, you will always be Edge's bitch. To me, you will always be Edge's bitch. To me, you will always be Edge's bitch. Genius. I love to see creative outlets being used here in professional wrestling. It's really, uh, it's really something. Still to come, it's Jonathan Gresham going one-on-one -on -one with Aiden Prince. But up next, it's our social media top five. Five back moment of the week. Iceman Intel and more. Don't go anywhere. BTI continues after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone. As we get ready for the action here this week on BTI, Gia has left to go call the action with Tom, but with that being said, right now we head to our favorite part of the show. This is our social media top five. This is what everything that Impact was talking about throughout the week as everyone prepares for another amazing Thursday night of Impact Wrestling. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Jordan Grace makes it very clear to Mickey James that she hasn't forgotten about her Knockouts title rematch. Number four. Well, now we know it's going to be Josh Alexander defending his Impact World Championship against Rich Swan at No Surrender. Number three. Bully Ray had an ominous message for the new director of authority. Number two. Black Widow meet Black Widow Tara was Giselle Shaw's mystery partner. And at number one. Joe Hendry continues his streak of mega hits, but this time for Matt Cardona. 
So from the good to the bad, the happy to the mean, my absolute favorite part of BTI every single week. It's called the clap back moment of the week. It's where somebody got on the internet, said something about somebody else, and everyone's been talking about it all week long. The clap back moment of the week is. Steve Macklin with the clap back moment of the week this week, and I think he should look into getting t-shirts that say hashtag them and bag them. Amazing stuff on social media. That's where you can continue to see what's going on here in Impact as the rivalries continue to build each and every week. Somebody that's got an insider's tip and insider's track into everything that's going on here in Impact Wrestling, that's Iceman. Here's Iceman this week with his intel. Welcome to Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Just a few weeks away from no surrender. And the titles are on the line. Josh Alexander will defend his championship against Rich Swan, And Mickey James will defend the knockouts title against Masha Slamovich. It's going to be amazing. Now, speaking of championships, let's talk about what happened last week. The digital media champion, Joe Hentry, came out to the arena after major players suffered a loss. Now, previously to that, Cardona had made threats against Joe Hendry, claiming he was the greatest digital media champion of all time. Well, last week, Joe Hendry released his new hit single, Edges P Word. And you gotta check it out. It's insane. People are loving it, and it's gone viral. Well, here's the intel. Apparently, Cardona did not like it, and he was irate. And he was talking to other people backstage and he said that tonight he would have retaliation. But what does that mean? I guess we'll have to tune in and find out. It's Jonathan Gresham one on one with Aiden Prince, a first time ever matchup here. Jonathan Gresham was in action last week, and the octopus living right up to his name early on here, trying to wrap up Prince. Prince gets to the middle rope to break up the submission, and I, I love to see the smile on Gresham's face, and that's uh, you know come back ever since his uh, loss to Eddie Edwards at Hard yeah. to Kill. Yeah, I mean you have to think that Aiden Prince is already learning so much just in these few short moments he's been in the yeah. ring with Jonathan Gresham. And already quickly tied up here, and, and Gresham. Ray Walt and I have talked about it before, is uh, the thinking man's wrestler. He can beat you in so many different ways. Right. What have you seen from Gresham just getting to know him in a short amount of time this past year? I mean, I, I haven't spent much time with Jonathan Gresham, but like his, his resume, it spans even before pro wrestling. He was a two-time Olympic wrestling state champion. And, and look at this. 
Oh, what? what? What's, what's just going offering on? up his oh. left hand, his left wrist, to aim Prince, and it didn't help out Prince one iota. Well, that's one of those lessons that he's going to have to learn. Okay. Yeah, Prince, uh, his frustration written all over his face. Meanwhile, Jonathan Gresham, that trademark smile. Mm -hmm. And what do you believe is next for Jonathan Gresham here in Impact Wrestling? Oh, the world is his oyster. He can do whatever he puts his mind to. I mean, he's proven to be so talented, and he's such a hardworking individual. <laughs> Maybe got a little too confident there, and Prince at least got Gresham off his feet solely to gain a little bit of space. Yeah, so I think we certainly could be looking at a future X Division champion and maybe even a future world champion here at Impact Wrestling. Uh, now look at this, the confidence of Jonathan Gresham, uh, considering he reigned as the Ring of Honor world champion for 224 days. That's I know right. his sights are set high here in Impact Wrestling. He allows Prince back into the ring. Imagine being in uh, Aiden Prince's shoes here in the Greater Orlando, Florida area, trying to pick up a win, and Gresham rolls to the outside, and that's the first opening Prince has really had. Yeah, you know, before the show started, Jonathan Gresham, uh -oh. he was in the ring with a bunch of the other young wrestlers, showing them Whoa. submissions and holds and all sorts of things, and Aiden Prince, he was right there, so maybe oh. he's gonna learn a few things, and oh. And, and listen, Prince is a well-traveled veteran. He's challenge for the Impact World Championship, the X Division Championship, and now he's turning things around on Gresham, who continues to be all smiles here. And some all sportsmanship right. here shown between Gresham and Prince as this match continues. Big night of action once Impact Wrestling begins on Access TV. We open things up with Ace Austin and Chris Bay against Kushida and Kevin Knight. Some bad blood from once upon a time the New Japan Pro Wrestling Super Junior Tag League that ended late last year. You got a winner in that match or you like? Well, you know, I can't deny the success that Ace and Bay had while they were over in Japan. And they even defeated Kushida and Kevin Knight while they were over there. So we might be seeing a repeat of that. Ooh, first time that match will take place on American soil. And now it's Gresham here going after the leg. Oh, and this is what Gresham can do, Ow. really dissecting Aiden Prince. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. I, I asked him earlier today, how many holds does he think he knows, like over under 300? And he really had to think about it. <laughs> Trying to get into Dean Malenko territory, I'm sure. <laughs> also still to come on Access TV, action in the knockouts division. Giselle Shaw goes one-on-one -on -one with Savannah Evans. Also, we'll see Crazy Steve in action against Sheldon Jean, who battled Jonathan Gresham just last week. Also, we we will hear from Bully Ray. Bully Ray's been pleading because since Mickey James had her opportunity following Hard to Kill, Bully Ray wants his platform. I'm sure you're thrilled about that. Oh, I am just ecstatic. Can you hear it in my voice? Oh, a cover, cover here by Prince trying to put away Gresham. And you can see that smile on the face of Gresham. It's been wiped away. Gresham's nodding his head here saying, okay, this is getting serious. And don't forget our main event that's still to come once Impact Wrestling begins on Access TV at 8 p.m. Eastern. It is a huge eight-man tag team matchup. The Impact World Champion, Josh Alexander, teams with Frankie Kazarian, Yuya Uemura, and also Rich Swan, the number one contender to Josh Alexander. Come no surrender. They'll take on the Design and Callahan. That is a huge main event still to come. It's certainly going to get interesting. Ooh. Ow! getting interesting right now. And this is what Gresham can do when he gets nasty in a match. Again, the smile is gone. Telling the referee to check on Prince. He's really been targeting the lower body of Aiden Prince, so you have to think. He's just gonna take those legs right out from underneath him. Ooh, especially starting with the ankle. And again, twisting at the ankle, goes to the knee. Modified version here of the single leg Boston Crab. Hasn't got Prince fully on his belly. Trying to control Prince. Well, trying to roll him through Prince. At least had an answer there, considering his leg is bothering him right now. Ooh, landed. All his weight came down on the left oh. leg. Look at Gresham go for the leg. Oh. Great response by Prince. Seeing a little fire from Princey here. And now Prince. Oh. Had an opening there. Gets shut by Gresham. Now with the bad leg, able to kick off Gresham. Trying to put him away, shoulders down off the backslide, kick out. Now Gresham goes right back to the left mm. leg. Prince is trying to end this thing in a kick out by Gresham. Looks like he learned a few things from Gresham earlier today. Absolutely. Shoulders down, oh. hold on, Prince. Prince nearly had Gresham oh, in a kick out. So close. Uh, and we talked about it. Gresham 
Oh, oh suffer the loss to Edwards and hard to kill. Imagine if he gets derailed here on BTI to Prince. That would certainly be an upset. Comes down from Jonathan Gresham. Look Holy at the raw power. Cow. Oh. And Gresham realizing the test he's got what? in front of him. Prince was going for another oh. cover. Rolls into the kick. Great opportunity here against Jonathan Gresham. Power from Prince off the brain buster. Hook to the inside leg and a kick Not out enough. by Gresham. So close, Gia. So, so close. It, it's just a little bit of a taste. Could you imagine what it would mean for Aiden Prince to keep Jonathan Gresham It would down? be monumental for his opportunities here in Impact Wrestling. Now, Prince is going up top. He's thinking about ending oh. this matchup, and Gresham did his homework. <gasps> oh! Prince trying to clear half the ring. Gresham, oh! Gresham and Prince tied up there. The match nearly ending. Oh, oh look at Gresham. Oh, and Prince with a response oh. right back to the left knee. Gresham oh. to the back of the knee. Oh! Uh. Oh, my God, just smashing the kneecap in. Prince is tapping. Prince taps out to Gresham. Here is your winner, Jonathan Gresham. That went from all smiles to nothing but nasty in a heartbeat. Don't underestimate Jonathan Gresham. He is a great personality, great attitude, but he knows how to turn it on when he needs to. They call this man the foundation. Well, he quite literally destroyed the foundation of Aiden Prince here in this matchup tonight on BTI. You can see Prince heavily favoring the left knee. Gresham is a wonderful sportsman, but something just went off in his head, Gia. He got real serious real quick. Very nice. Great sign of respect between Gresham and Aiden Prince. Oh, Owen, Gresham's calling for Mike. Cut the music. You know, oh, stop it. You know, to be honest with you all, a couple of months back, I turned my back on pro wrestling and I told myself that I was done. It's because I love this industry. I love this business so much. And you know what? The company I love the most, the true company closed its doors. So I had to look for something better. So as I looked around the wrestling industry, my eyes fell on Impact Wrestling. Why? Well, because I've always wanted to compete against the best talent that this world has to offer. And to me, those men and women are in that locker room. my impact right now. Yeah! At no surrender, I'm issuing an open challenge. And the individual that I'm talking about has been in turning heads left and right since he signed here. So, at no surrender, I challenge you, Mike Bailey. Holy cow. Can you imagine what that match is gonna look like at no surrender? I mean, if it gets made official, that would be a hell of a matchup. Jonathan Grisham wants the best that Impact Wrestling has to offer. I was asking it after the pit fight that Bailey won against Kenny King. What's next for Speedball? Maybe it's Jonathan Grisham at no surrender. Incredible action to get us started here this week on BTI. Gia, Tom, thank you guys very much. We're gonna head back to Tom and his broadcast colleague, Matt Raywalt, in just a minute here for the start of Impact Wrestling. No surrenders right around the corner. Things are heating up here, to say the least. Cannot wait to see what goes down tonight. 
It's the most exciting two hours of professional wrestling that you can get every single week. It's Impact, and it happens right now.